John here. Uh, today, Thursday, the 7th of July 2016. <coughs> I'm just uh, making this video uh, public to my barrister, Shannon Withers. That's concerning um, 77 Cook Street uh, and its uh, fraud title transfer um, in question now with the courts. Um, to you, Shannon, I have a big audience watching me online as evidence to add weight to our case against CIB Detective Natalie Flower Du Brown from the Auckland CIB Police Station, Central City. To Natalie Flower Du Brown, you're in Solomon Islands on a mission, whisked away by the police to stay clear of media, I guess, because of what you did to me. I'm acting in the capacity of Surrogate King William the Fourth Flag here that you see flying here. I'll just get up and make it fly some more. I'd just like to indicate to the people of the world watching, witnessing these cases that I put online, uh, direct into the High Court of Admiralty in London and here in Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court under the jurisdiction of King William IV and the Chiefs of Waitangi Marae itself. I've got a list of instructions here for you, Shannon, on what I am wanting to do with Cook Street is seize it, confiscate the property as a consequence of the landowners committing fraud as accessories to the original fraud in 2008. It went on from Doug Rickard Bell and transferred to James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree. Now what has happened here is this is a private defaulted contract I have with you two owners where third parties have tampered and interfered with that contract with you because you haven't answered my affidavits and now it's in the barrister's hands. It has got more complicated as more people have got involved between me and you to the fact that the police have liabled the ministers in charge of the police department, Judith Collins, Minister of Police, and also Amy Adams, Minister of Justice, has got involved now. And now we've got Brexit and British government and military involved with us as partners in our contract business. This is the authority I'm using with Kingi Taurua, Chief of the Wai, uh, Waitangi uh, um, Chiefs and their land block where the Waitangi Marae sits. We're confiscating that as well, Sharon. We're confiscating the ship of Admiralty that's flying our flag with the British flag intact. So I'm going to read out these list of instructions to you in front of everyone watching. It's online with 903 other videos to add to our long collection of evidence to support our claim to the land as the owners. Number one, Natalie Flowdu Brown subpoena. I want to find what is the hold up, hold up with her being put into court as Judge Collins <coughs> gave um, that order to 
to have her come in front of the court and me. She has to answer personally herself because of what has happened with the laws of the Pope has changed and demolished the laws of his Vatican. As far as the corporations and trusts are concerned, he's destroyed that and it's left agents of the Crown Corporation here in New Zealand fending for themselves. They're personally liable and she's liable for arresting me illegally. I'm proven, proven that she has arrested me with King William's authority on my shirt and now that's become more prominent with the British military and Parliament now exited from EU Parliament and gone back to Britain. Okay, so that puts us as the native here in New Zealand, the Moai native, and King William IV, trust as the other country, Aotea New Zealand, England and Wales, is the new British government authority with this flag. Okay, I'm just tying that up together with us in contract still from 1835 Declaration of Independence flag here will represent Britain around the world in 250 countries. Shannon. Number two, writ to seize 77 Cook Street. I'm asking you to ask Judge Collins or whoever the judge is for a writ to confiscate 77 Cook Street as a consequence of the landowners fraud wheeling and dealing transactions and mortgage claims on that title. Our land still belongs to us. That's what I'm saying. I want it back. Our chiefs and Hapu wants it back. And as well as Waitangi Marae land blocks. They want that back too. Kini Toto wants his land back. And Titi Marae land blocks. All back with this authority. Now that we have more weight behind our claims and our title from Britain. We're still in a contract with the British government and the British military with this flag. Number three, default contract of Cook Street. It is a defaulted contract now that the owners have not answered. It's none of anybody's business. It's only our business with those two landowners and me and our hapu chiefs. Now Waitangi is involved with it. Kingi, Tauru and me have made contract with his flag to seize the lands. Shannon, you have to tell the judge that we have the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court open for business on the 15th of March 2016. I went into that Marae and as far as the trusts are concerned, they cannot stop me from going into that marae any time I want a court hearing, hold a court hearing and try anyone that's causing fraud and to our national interest here as the landowners with other private interests for themselves in conflict with us, okay? So we prevail with our laws over that. Number four. Tempering, please tempered as third party in our contract with the landowners. They came in and interfered and arrested me illegally. And you know why that reason is that Natalie Flower Dew Brown forged the documents as if she was a lawyer. She's not a lawyer to make unsealed. The documents are not sealed by the court or by a lawyer. It's sealed by a police badge, police um, uh, badge or, or, or a police logo, it's, it's got that on her documents, but not a seal of a lawyer drafting up those laws. She made her own laws. That's what I'm trying to say here. Shannon, and I'm having her for that. Also, I'm having her up for using those documents to make money out of me and the name John one hour in capitals. I've got that up against her as well. I want to find who countersigned that document 
that allowed them to get money from somewhere. That inheritance money with that name that looks like mine is my inheritance money that I'm claiming that. I don't want any money from the judge through compensation or redress. I don't want the judge involved with it. All I want him to do is to get the police out aside so I can take my land with you, Shannon. <coughs> Number five is fraud liability of the parties. Everyone that I name is liable. They have not answered and the case is at an end. The case is at an end and I'm charging those people a trillion pounds on their heads each plus. Number six, Waitangi Marae is a King's Bench Court. We opened that marae legally to legalise this flag and the pound note levy debt as instrument. Um, Shana, that's our business as the surrogate king and sheriffs to make our law straight to Britain. And now that Britain's on its own, we have that legal right to self-govern and self-control with our King William's land laws of England, 1830-1837, statute laws in Westminster Park. We have those laws on our side. <coughs> Number seven, authority of Waitangi to Britain, direct. Okay, so the chiefs there and King Itaurua is going through me as a legal advocate, customary legal advocate and sheriff, straight to Britain, to the courts, the High Court of Admiralty in Britain. And they'll take our evidence on Facebook as admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in Britain. To this flag. Okay? So let's hang on a minute. I just want to... That's better. Make the flag more accentuated. And it's got a lot of meaning. Number eight, 1840 Treaty is an illegal contract document that has no end date. Shannon, make note of that. That's in the Titi Marae, the obelisk. We are seizing the obelisk and the land and the marae and all its assets and the land blocks and property back into the King's Bench Court for the hapu. From the iwi, Maori, back to the hapu. Right over the top of it. And here on Cook Street, exactly the same, seizing back into the Hapu's control under the Maui Crown King William IV Trust. It belongs to everybody in the world in the common law courts. And the King William, Maui King William Commonwealth Government of the world inside Britain, the new Britain, UK government. Okay? I'm going to have a big flush out, clean out in Westminster when I go there with Jamie. Number nine, fraud case. The fraud case that I have with Natalie Flower, Judy Brown, and everybody else after that. We have court cases against police, and we have court cases against the landowners of that property, 77 Cook Street, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree, and every other third party who's on that charge sheet that Natalie Flower, Judy Brown put on me, and it's linked and joined it as accessories to the fraud of those land title owners and <coughs> has linked them all together as third party levy debtor um, debtors. Okay? So the Crimes Act number 10, Crimes Act 1961, I have listed it all out of the offences that have been committed as criminal against the people I have named on Facebook. You go to that site, type Natalie Flower Dew Brown, John One Hour versus Natalie Flower Dew Brown on Facebook, and you'll see everything there. You'll see everything I'm claiming against her publicly notified. Everything I do is publicly notified. It's for anyone to counterclaim every claim against them. Otherwise, it's the law. If nothing's done about it, if they stay all silent, Shannon, the judge has to rule on that in my favour. Okay, I'm saying if John Key does not 
counterclaim my claim against him as a fraudster behind the Panama tax havens that he is allowed to happen on these lands and Amy Adams, the Minister of Justice, and Judith Collins, the Minister of Police, you are liable. You've got a trillion pounds on all of your heads that your names are on Facebook. There's 68 Facebook sites there. Your names appear and your photos appear that you haven't done anything about it. And those who don't do anything to do to protect their name is vulnerable. You're liable as stated in my affidavit claims against you on these lands. These lands are our lands, the Hapu's lands, the native. Not for anybody else to say anything after all said and done. Okay. Reverend Criminal Fraud Natalie is a criminal fraudster. As I'm making this statement quite clear that she has to deny it. It means standing in front of the court, her face and mine in front of the judge. If she does not appear, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, if you do not appear when I say so, I'm going to call the court hearing if nothing's done about it, and I'm just warning you that I'll only give you three days, 72 hours to appear, because you've had all this time, right from the 3rd of October 2015, all the way through, that I'm expecting after the judge said, made a ruling that to my barrister, you Sharon, Shannon, that she's going to be brought back in front of the judge and me and you to answer to my allegations. If she does not turn up, the ruling is against her in my favour and I shall have the authority to seize that property because they're covering up for the landowners and the convincing lawyers who have defrauded the title or corrupted the title on our lands. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I want the land back. I have the right, the legal, legitimate right as the owner to take my land back. I'm one of the owners. And every other owner can speak for themselves. Look, I've got documents here that I'm one of 45 owners on a land block at Port Awanui on the east coast, one of 30 blocks, Shannon. I've got this as the head trustee now out of 45 owners. So it just shows you those other owners have a right to that property as much as I do. I'm just one of them. I'm going to try and do something for them, not so much myself, but I'm talking about Cook Street. Right? Where are the owners of that? They might be owners, but we are the original owners. We have the proof to say so, and also to T Marae blocks and Waitangi blocks. We have the title for that as well. Okay, so going to seize Cook Street. That's number thirteen. A list of offences is number twelve. Those are all offences I've got ready for you. If we have to go to court, I want you to settle out of court and just. Ask the judge to dismiss the case, dismiss the trespass charge against me, and leave me to take them to court in another court another day. You have to go to Britain because the amount of the charges are too high for any court less of a king. Okay? The king's court is Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. That's why it can go in figures in trillions. That's what I'm saying. There's no legal avenue for any court here or the Supreme Court to go that high. Only a king can do that. I'm the surrogate king, remember what I'm saying. I'm speaking for King William IV. Nobody else. Number 13, seize Cook Street. I'm going to seize Cook Street with your assistance and the judge to tell the police to stand aside. Stand aside while I go and finish my job. I set this out a long time, from 2008, to seize that land. It's taken this long and this much evidence to mount the case against it. And now it's pretty certain that no one's going to contest or rebut. Anything I say online is public. Okay? 14.
counterclaim Natalie Fraud Brown. I'm counterclaiming your claim against me, Shannon. I want you to counterclaim it and write it up for the judge out of court and she must counterclaim my claim to counterclaim her. I think that's impossible for her to do. She's not a lawyer. She was acting as if she was a lawyer to make those rules up and the judge followed it. The judge, you followed it. The, the, the court followed it. The registrar followed what she wrote. And that's the offence. That's just one of the offences. The other one is using my name, Shannon, using my name in capitals to extract money from my inheritance as myself arrested me, the natural person. It didn't appear in her charge sheet. It didn't appear as lowercase, me, the natural person. She arrested me, the natural person, in a lowercase, and she should have arrested the corporate capital name. She took me as being corporate capital name and arrested that too. See, so she's not going to get away with this. Nobody's going to get away with anything fraudulent in the Crimes Act 1961. She's broken the 1961 Crimes Act and also the other police are charged as well. And the government has they're all done it. Shannon, um, that's what I'm saying. You're a ex-federal uh, government lawyer in America that's come here and also in Greece you, you were there practicing British law so you'll know what I'm talking about. There's no way around it. 16. My word against anybody's law. The word. My word is my word against anybody's word. If they can't counter my word, my word is the law. I win the case by default. 17. No contest case ends. Right? Because no one's answered my affidavit, it's at an end, Shannon. Yeah. There is nobody that can come into this contract anymore on Cook Street. It's in. All I had to do is build them. A Nax A N A N A Y X Limited Company in England, in Britain, London, is my debt collectors. I am paying them every week to recover all that money that I'm saying is owed now. They are owed. The owners of that land block is owed and they've got the trillion pound note on top of the head as well. So there's no way of getting out of that. What I say is goes. It's come from that Marae. We had the meeting in there, Shannon, on the 15th of March 2016. <coughs> the trusts, the Waitangi trusts and the Titi Marae trusts said they can't stop me from going in that marae and doing what I want with the hapu there on the land interests. I have the titles to do it. There's no question about that. The same with Cook Street. I've got the titles for Cook Street and there's no one contesting it. Right? Not even Maori is contesting the titles I'm holding. 16. 15th of March 2016, Kingy officiated the opening of business inside that marae for my King William Trust and the recovery of lands and the connection to Britain, British government and British military to protect us now on inside that marae and legalise this flag jurisdiction of Admiralty, Court Martial Law in that marae and also the pound note that we have online. Those pound notes are legalised inside that marae on that day as being currency, debt, levy debtor instruments to recover all that debt. Shannon, so I want to tell you that there's no way any person living in this country is going to get out of that one. It's set in concrete 
inside that marae that's been used by the government and Waitangi National Trust private business of the government we're using that marae and our flag and that ship of admiralty standing beside the Waitangi marae in the paddock as authority of admiralty mortgage lands bank loans and also <coughs> trading around the world from this land okay that's our authority now we've opened it up to take it and seize it off john key's government back into our control that's what happened with john key was not allowed to come on the land the titi marae and from then he has no consent from King Itaurua, the chief, the last man standing on his feet, and all the other 39 marais in Waitangi have given me the mandate to go to Westminster to raise this flag on their behalf. We're going to raise it on treaty grounds any time now. So this announcement to you, Shannon, that the New World Order kicks in and enforces its laws on the 16th of this month, July 2016, and we're countering that with this flag and authority, with this statement I make to you, to write it up, that we warn the New World Order and the Vatican, the Pope, and their church and state, the Vatican Church, the Catholic Church, and the Queen's Church of England, and her business, and also the Rothschild Banks, that you are now liable to all that I'm saying online, that's publicly notified that Moai Crown King William the Fourth Admiralty Court Martial Law is the highest law in the world of commerce, banking and seizure of property land to offset what you now owe us in debt for your criminal activity using our flag authority to make money illegally. Okay, so that's what I wanted to say. We are heading off the New World Order using its laws on this country and Britain and Australia, Canada, America, India, Africa. All the Commonwealth countries of the world, 38 of them, is in our control under this flag of jurisdiction, authority, of money laws. The law of land laws of England Westminster 1830 to 1837 shall apply today on this video to you, Shannon. I'm making this statement clear and precise that our law has been passed through Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, on the 15th of March 2016 as legal, legitimate and lawful authority to bill anybody with the power known that we have online, those power notes, uh, stemming from the 1888 King Tafao pound note, and also the levy debtor instruments, legal documents that we have online, okay? Against any person that's corporate trusts and corporate names, legal names, natural names, you are now bill levy debtor if your name's in front of a, the public, in a box or anywhere on our documents with the seal of Moai and the seal of King William IV and his ship. You've got that seal in front of you, you're liable and debtor instruments, collateral. Number 19, you to represent me in Westminster. I'm just asking you, Shannon, to represent me on the Queen's Bench court side of the law in our documentation to set up the trip to uh, England, to London, to Westminster, uh, and to administer our legal representation on that Queen's Bench side of the court, because I'll be doing the King's Bench side of the court with the other nominated people there. Uh, we'll have nominated people here to cover that position of sheriffs <coughs> on behalf of King William IV. Uh, number 18, legal title claim to the land, 
let's, um, these are instructions to you that we are enforcing, we've enforced our legal titles to the claim to the land at Waitangi that day, okay? Um, represent us, that's number 20, is the flag raising ceremony. We're wanting to raise the flag on the Marae, on the treaty grounds, because the Navy did not perform for us. It showed that the Navy is there for their own private interest, financial interest, against the interest of the public of New Zealand and the Hapu landowners and the chiefs and me, the surrogate king William IV, straight to Britain. No financial interest on our behalf, only their own financial private interests. That's counter to the Queen being in the EU Parliament as being threatening against our national interest on our land and country. Okay? So that's um, um, number 20, the flag raising here and Britain. So I wanted you to make it legal through. When we seize Cook Street, will be financial set up to administer Westminster from here legally. And I need you to write it up prepare that. I haven't got much time to waste um, on getting to Westminster because I should have been there long ago and I've been held up by the Crown here, Corporation, the Government, Chris Ferguson and his mob and John Key and his mob from doing my duty due diligence to my chiefs. Okay, we're talking hapu, not iwi. Hapu. The iwi get the belt. Shannon, the iwi Maori leaders get the bill, the trillion pounds on their head too, right? Because they're fraudulent in the same sense of the word, corrupted the legal system here. 21, the flag raising in Britain. 22, um, New Zealand is the third state country with England and Wales as the new Britain UK country and government. Okay? We're running the Maui Crown King William the Fourth Commonwealth Government of the World, thirty eight countries from Britain, the new Britain in Westminster, with us there with them. From here to there in private contract with this private contract flag of Admiralty. That's what private contract is. Admiralty. Alright, you know that. You know that. Twenty three I wrote an email and put it on Facebook as well yesterday to the ex-retired UKIP leader, Nigel Farage. Nigel Farage, if you're watching this video, I want you to be the new leader of the Maui King William Party in London, Westminster, because Matt Taylor is the leader of that party, but he has his SOS independent party to run, so I want to run this straight from here to there, and I'll be there as the ambassador for New Zealand. I want you to set that up too. Not Jerry Mataparai Andrews, he's crooked and fraudulent. I've already got him in a box to charge him a trillion pounds on his head. These are bounties on their head, Shannon. They're serious, I'm talking serious. They have committed crimes here of church and state in the parliament, government, and him acting for a queen who's not there. She's not there. The judges are acting with a queen they're swearing to. She's not there. She's in the EU parliament, not Westminster. That's the problem. She's conflicted the interests of our lands. She's compromised us, the chiefs, on John Key's contract with Queen's Bench Court, the Queen and the Treaty of Waitangi 1840 document is fraud with her gone and that's acting as if she's still there. That's fraudulent. That's worse than fraud. That's treason. We're having John Key up for free treason, um, uh, Shannon. So I want you to act on that as well. There's a lot of stacked up against him. 22. 
23, I wrote to Nigel Farage, 24, revert to King William IV title. We are choosing, I've already made, put statements out again and again and again, that King Ernest Augustus V is the reigning King of England, King of Hanover, King of Britain, UK, and King of the Commonwealth Government of the world in New Zealand Pacific Islands. He's our king that we swear an oath to and we swear an oath to my statue standing in London, Brussels, France, New Zealand, Chile, Singapore, New York, Washington DC and other powerful states in the world is our title. That is our title, John, um, Shannon, that I want to enforce what we say goes. My is God's law, L-O-R-E, spirit, that's missing in your government here. He's the spirit of this earth, planet. 24, 25. John Key has no queen in the court. No oath of office to the queen. No consent from the queen to open the Supreme Court. And no queen uh, seal. No monarch seal. No sovereignty seal. No authority to govern on our lands. You see, I'm making those strong statements in front of the world. We're on number 26. Um, office, um, what's it? Um, oath of office, me and King Itaudor, straight to London, and King William IV there, King Ernest Augustus, and King Edward, he's King Edward, during Queen Victoria. Well, we pick the reigning King Ernest Augustus in commerce. He's the King of Commerce, the King of the Sea, and the King of the King's Royal, Royal Revenue, the King's Bench Court. Okay, and I'm the King's surrogate for the meantime, till I get to Westminster to nominate him into Parliament as the new King or the original King of Britain, UK. Okay, he's already the King of UK, Britain. Um, Hanover, now, 27, John Key, no oath, oath of office and swearing to who. So there's a number of issues with him and his Panama tax is on top of it. So he's got a whole heap of trouble standing right in front of me at the moment with his flag flying. 28, jurisdiction of the court is not in void. That's what I'm saying, that there is a problem in the courts here and the legal system. Brexit makes it worse for you, um, uh, practicing law when that element is gone from John Key. He can't have his way. He's limited now because we have more of Brexit. Straight Britain here was always here to protect our native lands from being stolen. And that's what he was set out to do with failure on his flag and failure now with this Brexit gone. They got a bit too cocky. 29. The Constitution of Britain, Hapu, is this flag, 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, the only one in the world that has a king as its authority flag. It's a king's flag. There's nobody else who's got a king's bank flag of commerce and trade. Free passage through the world. That's what I'm saying to Nigel Farage. We have this flag to take Britain around the world and claim the whole Pacific Ocean and come on my lands at East Cape on Rangi Tukia, Waipu Mouth, River Mouth, and sit on that land there, Haho A 7B, Haho 7B land. I want the British military watching this video to come straight in there, and Shannon, I want you, I mean, instruct you to set that up with them and pay them out of the pound note and all the levy debtors collateral to pay the British military to recover all the debts owing, did I say, 970 million trillion trillion pound notes 
on the Rothschild's head, the Queen's head, the Pope's head, and all their 1.5 billion Catholic followers of the Pope. They'll all get it personally, get the bill. Okay? There'll be plenty of people offering to be sheriffs to go and chase after it with the British military. We're paying the British military to recover all those debts in the King's Bench Court. Okay, that's how it's going to work, Sharon, because I'm making these statements loud and clear. Um, 30 Waitangi Marae is the authority of this land, uh, Sharon. Regardless of what the court says, I'm just making these statements in readiness for the changeover of the New World Order coming in on the 16th of July 2016 that we put this in front of the New World Order as our authority over them and money-making admiralty that the Pope used to make his fortunes. We're going to strip off him and the Queen back into the King's Bench Court and back to Ernest Augustus, the King reigning monarch, sovereign that we swear oath to right now in front of the whole world to make these statements that there is no way John Key is going to bring the new world order into this country to take our rights away and to make us not grow food for ourselves and sell it. That's his law. That's alien and a threat against our national security of the native titles right through the world. All the indigenous people of the world comes under this flag and King William IV and us who are saving the whole world from disaster of the elite thugs. Okay, I call them thugs because this law of King William's was put together for thugs, pirates who temper, interfere with our business between us and Britain. Okay, that's it. Nobody else is private, just us and the British government and the British military, Navy, and that's why I want Nigel Farage to take control of Britain and set up with this flag and us here as being the other part of Britain and the whole Pacific Island nations and that land expanse right through there back to Britain in the first place. Okay, The Queen is not going to get it through America invasion of the world, no, the King is defaulted back in Westminster, off the Queen, and the Queen sacked. I'm going to Westminster to sack the Queen and to recover our Queen Victoria Trust fund and gold trust fund back into the King's Bench Court in Westminster and recover it right through the world and pay all the militaries in the world, 250 countries, on our website, moaipowerhouse.com. M-O-A-I-P-O-W-E-R-H-O-U-S-E dot C-O-M MaoiPowerhouse.com Shannon That's where you'll see the 250 countries flag flying with this flag that we have access, free passage right through all those countries to trade straight off with the bank pound note. We bankrupt the Rothschild's pound note is corrupted. It has corrupted the fiat system of money in the US dollar and it has taken people's lives and it has bankrupted their properties and taken them off now FEMA is cutting their heads off with guillotines those are evil things that have creeped in under this admiralty martial law that Obama is using and he's thinking that he's a king we're going to strip him of it and strip the Queen from giving him that title to take the whole world from America that's what we are here for, protection of the common people, with King William's common law, Sharon. That's what I'm here for. Keep the peace. We're there for peace, harmony, love, and sharing the resources not controlled by someone else who doesn't live here. Okay, so, um, 32, disclosure of information. I want full disclosure from Shannon, uh, from uh, Natalie Claudia Brown and the police department and John Key's treasury. I want it investigated. I want the HM Treasury in England investigated. I want the treasury here investigated where all that money's gone, where all those tax havens have been operating here for years. 
all that's coming back inside the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Okay, so um, we'll seize the land and ship of Admiralty on Waitangi grounds. That's number 31. Number 32 is disclosure information. Number 33 is the liability of John Key and his Crown Corporation agents. Number 34, Kapu, um, John Key from the land, shut John Key from the land. That was Kini Taurua, um, um, kicked him off Titi Marae because he signed the TPP A without their consent. So it means he has no consent to be anywhere on the land up there. That's why we're seizing it. Shannon, we have the legal right now to seize that land now that we are linking back up the original reassertion of this flag in Britain and start all over again fresh British with the corrupted people gone into the EU Parliament. Most of Scotland is going into the EU because they were corrupted in the first place. That's why they go there. Birds of a feather fly together and sink together. Okay, you got to get that one wrong. The worst thing they've done is leave Britain where they started off the EU Parliament. Their authority comes from British Westminster. They don't, they, they forget, even here, the government here forgets. The people here are so ignorant, they forget this flag got them on the land. This flag got EU Parliament going. This flag and the King, not the Queen, the King and his Admiralty, Court Martial Law. I hold the title to Auckland and Westminster, um, Auckland and Waitangi, here. 37, that's 36. 37, uh, 35, can't, they can't stop me going on to Marae at Waitangi. And I'm expecting the judge to say they can't stop me from going on to Cook Street and seizing it. That's what I'm waiting for you to say to me, Shannon, is that the judge will make a ruling that there's no way anyone's going to win a court case with this much information in front of the whole world watching. They're watching for someone to make a wrong move, and it's not going to be me or my chiefs. The British military and the British government is waiting for someone to make a wrong move for what I'm making statements about these lands. They have a financial investment interest in these lands that stands as contract with us. There's third parties that are tempering with our contract. John Key and Jerry Mataparai, Governor General, going to England as an ambassador to sell the rest of Maori land. The Maori land belongs to them, but the Maui land built them, builds the Maori land of the Crown's ownership back to the King hmm? for the fraud. I just needed to prove one fraud equals the lot is fraud. Right? Even the Treaty of Waitangi 1840 is a fraud document, contract. Any constitutional lawyer can see that the Constitution itself, 86, 1986 Constitution, is fraud. They altered the 1852 Constitution. That's what happened. That's our. our now, we still use 1852, but we use 1835, because it's the Hanging Chains Act. Hmm? If Obama can get guillotine, 66,000 of them, to cut people's heads off, to sell the bins, we can use the Hanging Chains Act to go and hang him. That's what I'm saying. Right in front of these people, that the offence is that severe with tampering with our law. Okay? They're using our law without our authority. I have in I have forty forty my name is vi is violated. That's what Natalie Flower do around it with my name. Okay, Britain alert for thirty eight. We've got thirty eight. Um, thirty seven. Oh, thirty seven. The chief's ready to take the land. King Toto wants his land back in Waitangi and I'm setting up all the legal documentation to seize it. Okay, I've done this for a long time, but now the British are there back home, then I'll use the British law and the British government, the new government, where I'm going. I'm going to go as the ambassador. 
of our native land because I have a right to protect what is ours. Okay, so that's 30, 738 is Britons alerted. They're watching from the chiefs. The British, uh, the chiefs have told me to go to Westminster and to put our flag up. That's the point of the exercise here, Shannon. I'm just telling you that we're going to raise this flag on the treaty grounds, on that mast ship standing beside the Marae is Captain, is, is King William's ship of Admiralty from Britain. It's a British ship. It's not a New Zealand ship. It's a British ship with our flag and the British flag on it. Always been flying there all the time on national days, but we're putting it up to stay up. It's going up the top to stay there. John Key tried to put another flag there, violating our flag as if it's not there. The very flag that got him on his day is going to get him off the land. They have abused the laws and our authority in front of us. 40, uh, 39, who is using my name to make money out of? That's the other offence that we've said enough times. 40, 41, I have um, internet or something. Um, 42, witness YouTube. Um, everything's on internet now is used as evidence against anyone I'm accusing. And there's enough of that. There's enough on 904 videos now, including this one, 905 videos, including this one, um, Shannon, that is saying things about people. I'm making statements and accusations against people openly online. Okay? If they don't do anything about it, it's true. If I have accused them of fraud and they'll get the bill. Straight bill and someone will be there to visit them to seize their property. Okay, nothing you can do about it. 43, the Pope destroyed all laws and corporations. So at the end of all of this, the laws that John Key is using are the Pope's laws. The civil law, the, the canon law, uh, the courier law, and the admiralty law, and the UCC law, Fiat money law and the UCC law is fraudulent. It is criminal to use it. They're, they're using they're using it in the banks and the banks makes them liable. The banks are liable, Shannon. They get a bill from us on the land that they're on. Right? I'm just making this statement clear that the New World Order does not have the land titles origination of authority. The Pope does not have that capacity of origination of titles and mortgages. He used King William's the fourth authority to make his money through the Queen, the fraudulent Queen, now abandoned ship and gone into the EU Parliament to operate as a Jesuit inside that Marai inside that uh, parliament as a conflict of interest to our national security here in New Zealand, Pacific Islands and all the Commonwealth countries of the world. That's why we're stepping in with this plan, Sharon. I want you to represent me to set up all the legal side of your court system, working with the judge. I'm not knocking the judge. I'm just saying the judge is only there to adjudicate and to settle the peace. I want you to tell the judge, Collins, to tell the police to step aside because I'm going to take the land back into our ownership because it's, it's been fraudulent in its dealings with transactions that they don't understand. They're not lawyers, they're not native advocates like me that look at our titles as who is corrupting our land. I have the capacity.
capacity to make assessments on the lands as a native assessor of who is corrupting the land against other interests that are necessarily the people that are supporting us and recovering what has been lost. And we're not going to let, settle for less of what I'm saying, Shannon. You'll be in better position to deal with British law now that there's a problem with the EU Parliament, with countries, some of them left now, they're all leaving. And they have a problem to try and function without this authority from Britain. That's why they can't afford to lose Britain. Well, I'm there 